Good morning, everybody. I am Mermaid Christine. I'm a paparazzi independent consultant, and today's video tutorial is probably, I mean, I always say like on every video, this is the number one game changer. This is the number one, you know, secret to success. Um, the number one way to recruit. But this is not just the number, it's not the number one most common question asked, but it is probably the most important question that a consultant can ever ask, research, practice, and try in order to grow your business. It is the number one way to grow a business, no matter what company you work for. I have put together a list here, just wanna double check the numbers because I kept adding to it this morning. Eight ways to get new eyes, to get new customers. All right, so if you have, and I just posted about this in my pod the other day, 50 you know, members in your shopping group. Maybe these are legit customers. Maybe these, <clears throat> excuse me, it's still early morning, hold on. Gotta have my honey coffee every day to coat the throat. So maybe your shopping group is made up of mostly friends and family who you just added to the group when you made the group. Otherwise, you know, who's in your group? You have two people in it, right? So um, I did that when I first made my shopping group. And let me tell you, a lot of my family and friends left the group. Eventually, Facebook removed them from my group because they were inactive for an entire year. They never posted, liked, commented. So Facebook did this update a few months ago where they removed all members from your group who are no longer active. I had close to 800 members in my group. It went down to like 400. And sadly, it even removed some people who were actually customers <clears throat> and now friends. And their feelings were hurt. They thought I removed them. So I had to let them know, no, there's some glitches. And I added them back in. But anyway, um, my point was in my team, I just posted... And actually, Crystal had posted a similar concept and I added to it. <clears throat> the number one thing you need to be working on every single day isn't even just sales. The sales will come if you have the customers. The jewelry sells itself. I mean, come on, five bucks. But you need eyes. You need new customers. Every single day, you should be growing your group. How, Mermaid Christine? You're like, tell me how. I have all the secrets right here. And they're not secrets. They are steps. They are efforts, they are actions that you have to constantly be taking, okay? This isn't gonna happen overnight. This isn't like if you're like, oh, I just wanna do this fast. Mm -mm. It doesn't work that way. You're gonna have to be consistent and you're gonna have to be persistent. You don't give up, okay? So back to what I was saying in my group, if you've got 50 or so people in your group, maybe they're mostly friends and family, maybe they're customers. Your goal right now, whatever that number is, you're gonna double it. Okay, so when you get to 100 members, you're going to let your shopping group know, everybody, I'm going to grow my group, do a gr grow my group giveaway. When we get 100 members in this group, somebody's winning free jewelry for an, a year. That's what I did. I already talked about that on a different live. I could commit to one free piece for an entire year. It's 12 pieces. If I decided to go bankrupt and close my business down, I would mail that person 12 free pieces, whoever won. So do a giveaway, give it for five people, get one free piece each, one person gets five, whatever you want to do. Do a grow your group, group giveaway and have that mindset, okay? Oh, oh, I just remembered I'm going to add another category here that helped me a lot. Oh yes, for sure. All right, so now we have nine ways. Um, and more might come to me. This might be a 10-way video by the time I'm done. I just, I quickly wrote down eight. My sister, Brace, just messaged me this morning. She's 250 pieces away from Life of the Party. She needs to sell in order to be able to buy more. She's like, what do I do? Here's all the steps that are too much to type it all up. Um, and Shanette just asked me the other day on the comments of one of my other videos, how do I get new eyes? Okay, so first, you have to have a goal. You gotta work towards something. You can't just be swimming with no destination, right? You're just gonna flounder and drown, okay? So you're gonna pick a goal and you're gonna work towards that goal and you do not give up until you reach that goal, okay? In the comments in here, write it down. Like, put it out there in the universe. I'm gonna get 200 members in my group and when you do, come back and comment on there, 
I did these things, they work, like motivate each other. Let someone else read the comments. Well, maybe I should try this. Somebody else had success with it. I love when you girls post that and I see it. Okay, so the first tip I have on how to get new customers, and these are all equally important. Okay, the first isn't the number one most important. You might be doing number one, but you need to do number three and number five. So definitely, you know, hear them all out. Don't turn this off just because you already think you know everything and you're already doing number one. Live sales. You might be going live and not seeing a lot of new customers and new faces, but you still got to keep doing them. This week, I'm trying. My, my dear heart is just kicking my tail. Um, I'm going live twice a day, morning and night. I am also scheduling wall drops all day. I'm also planning a big, huge, one-time, big album sale. All right, so you're gonna go live. You're gonna do it consistently. You're gonna pick a time and day of the week that every week your customers know that they can find you at this time. They're gonna look forward to that time. Mine is Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Now in the summer, it's 8.30. If you can do two times a week, I did two times a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays for an entire year straight. In addition though to that Wednesday night, I'm doing pop-up lives, I'm doing speed sales, I'm doing repost sales. You know, you gotta throw in some extra ones too, but have at least one consistent time that you're always gonna go live. Before you go live, okay, so you can't just go live and I'm gonna get new, new views and new customers. You have to have a process that you're gonna follow. And I did all of these, I still do most of them, not all from now on but I do a lot of them. And when I do them all, I, my viewers go up and my sales go up and I get new customers. So these are the things you're gonna do before you even go live. You're gonna personally PM 10, minimum 10 different customers, family, and friends and let them know, not five minutes before, I've done that, you know, two minutes before, I'm going live in two minutes, can you please share? It occasionally works if the person's like super awesome, but um, most people can't on the, drop of a hat, be there for you. So let them know the night before, hey, tomorrow night I'm doing a big live. I'm pushing to earn life of the party. I have a goal, you know, I have this vacation or this bill that I need to pay for and I just ordered all this inventory. Can you please um, get on tomorrow night's live and share it to your page, okay? Message 10 people in advance, ask them to do it. Don't be dis disappointed and discouraged and stop if only one person does it. Okay, some sisters in my team have really good family support, really good friend support. They have tons of people saying, sure, you know, borrow my page. That was a brand new one. Uh, Maria, borrow page, so that's gonna be nine, that's gonna be 10. She had a tremendous success with that. That's gonna be number 10. Um, I didn't have that much success. I had like four or five people say, yes, you can borrow my page. You can promote on one of your friends' pages about Facebook. I'll get into that more on number 10. So <clears throat> ask 10 people, don't be discouraged if none pick a different 10 the next week when you go live. Keep trying. If you have one person who is willing to do it every single time, like your mom, your husband, your very best friend, I know it's like a little annoying to ask them every time. Maybe they'll just get in the habit and do it for you every time you go live. You can also, in a way, pay an admin to share it for you. You can give her a free piece every week for sharing your live and making sure that somebody out there is helping, you know, boost your live. All right, so that's what you're gonna do before the live. You're also going to post a teaser picture, okay? So yesterday, right in front of my treasure chest there, I have a starfish and I lined up about five of the hottest pieces I was gonna be showing in last night's live. I had over 40 different styles I was gonna be showing, probably more like 70 if you think about the mermaid matches, but I only picked five. It, too much is too overwhelming. So pick like super hot, like these acrylic earrings. I knew there would be customers who would set an alarm, literally set an alarm to make sure they did not miss this live because they wanted these cow print earrings. So you're gonna do a sneak teaser preview. I post this on my business page. I use the share link and share it to my shopping group. I'll even put it on my personal page because I never know what piece is gonna be the one to convert a friend, a family member who has been lurking for a year, a year and a half, skeptical of this product, and all of a sudden they're gonna see a piece and say, I need that. So those are the three places you can personally prepare 
your viewers for what you're going to be showing that night. When I made teaser, I make a collage. I used to make collages. I used the stock images and make a collage, and I would post that on there. Um, two things. One, make it a RSVP giveaway. If somebody RSVPs and writes in the comments, I will be on this live, they should get rewarded for that. They should get their name into an entry. You can use the free website, Wheel. <clears throat> Wheel, W-H-E-E-L, D-C-I-D-E dot com. There's little like entry bars. You type in every customer's name who RSVP, they'd be on the live. You hit create wheel. All their names come on a wheel and you'd have to have a separate device like a tablet or a laptop and you can show everybody during your live. Thank you everybody who RSVP to be on this live tonight. Your name is on this wheel. I'm going to spin it. Whoever is randomly selected is going to get a free piece of jewelry. It can be one free piece. It could be three free pieces, two free pieces. It could be mystery pieces. It could be their choice. So you're going to do a giveaway if they RSVP to be there. Now the, the rule is... If you RSVP to be there, you need to be there. You don't just get your name on for saying RSVP. Um, they have to actually be there. They have to be on the live to win and they have to comment, I'm here, yay, I'm so excited, I want a free piece. So I did that for at least a year straight. I've kind of slowed down on that because I'm doing giveaways a little bit differently and I need to get back on it actually. Um, anyway, different tangent. So when you make this RSVP giveaway post, you, on your business page, it says share, and you can hit share, and it'll say share to group, share link. You can copy that link, or you can share directly when it says share to group, to your shopping group, to any advertising group you are in. You should be joining, Crystal at one point said join five a day. I think I'm in like 500 groups now. I'm not trying to join anymore. Occasionally, I'll still do a random search for maybe a new keyword I haven't thought of before. So do some searches for direct sales on Facebook, marketing and advertising on Facebook, buy, sell, trade on Facebook, no rules on Facebook, job opportunities Facebook, you know, stay at home mom, um, direct sales, like there's so many different groups and keywords you can search for. Advertise in those groups. Don't share to 20, you'll end up in Facebook jail. Limit it to three. I've heard you can do up to five without ending up in Facebook jail. I usually would like share it to three. So you're gonna add, this is all the groundwork that you're gonna lay before you even go live. All right, um, RSVP giveaway. Your husband, once you hit that go live button, I don't know about you, maybe Androids are different or different Facebook updates are different. I cannot share it while I'm live. If I go on a different device, I can open up that link and share it but that's very distracting to be staring at a device when everybody's looking at you, wanting to engage with you, wanting to shop. So on the side, I will tell my husband, and he's not very good, I'll ask my mom, I'm not sure if she really quite knows how, my best friend, she is on it. The minute I go live on my business page, she's sharing the link of that live to my shopping group. She's sharing it to my personal profile. She shares it to my husband's profile. She shares it to her own profile, okay? Every single time. So get someone. Hopefully you have someone. Get a team member. I used to tell the sisters in my pod, tag team, okay? Pick another sister who can share for you. Um, if you don't have some or another team member in your team to share, ask your upline if she's available. If you just really, truly have nobody else, it really makes a big difference. Some people can't find my live on my business page. They are waiting for that notification to say, Lindsay Calder just shared Mermaid Christine Independent Consultants Live to the Mermaid Grotto. Okay, so now you're live. This is another way, a side way, to get more new viewers, new eyes on your live. Before you even go live though, you can let your shopping group know, your business page, your personal page, all three, you can write it even in the RSVP post giveaway. When you do that sneak preview, either a collage or a photo of your top three or five or even one piece you're gonna be showing that night. You're gonna say, during tonight's live, if you invite a friend to come on tonight's live, you will be entered for a free piece of jewelry for you and your friend. 
I did this for a long time too, maybe like nine months. And while you're live, someone can hit the, in the bottom corner of the screen, share. And instead of just share the page, you can hit invite a friend. You can search by name in the key board in the um, search bar, or it shows a list of all of their friends. They can scroll down and to the right hit invite, 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 invite. My best friend, when I used to go live when I first started, she would invite like all 500 friends on her list. And I'd have random people coming on like, what's going on? Um, you can ask them to invite a friend. Now here was the condition I made. You can't just say invited, invited, invited and get entered for the free bling. While I appreciate that first step, your friend has to come on. So this I think makes your customer or viewer take that little extra step to make sure that their friend is actually gonna come on. Um, they might text them, hey, get on Mermaid Christine's live right now and say hi. They might PM them, you need to check out this live, come on and you know say hi, we can each win free bling. So what my condition was, your friend has to come on and say hi, because I can't see at the top of the screen which viewers actually came on, especially after I hit publish. The only people I see at the top are sometimes some of my personal friends and family. So if, you know, Patty McNally says, I invited, you know, my sister Judith McNally to come on tonight. If I don't see Judith McNally on there, she's not entered for that giveaway. If Judith McNally writes, hey sis, you know, what's going on? What is this about? Um, I might even miss her comment as I'm talking and selling jewelry, but as I'm going through the comments to fulfill the claims, I'll see their comments there and I will enter them both for that free piece. Now, it's up to you how many free pieces you wanna give out. In the beginning, I would pick one pair. There were some lives that maybe three different people had three different friends come on. I'd say all three of them are getting a free piece tonight. Um, this is why I stopped doing so many RSVP giveaways in the beginning for RSVPing because I started wanting to only give out free pieces, not to the same people every single week, but to new people, just someone who's inviting their friend. So I encourage you to do both. The first one I did for a long time and it did help me. It helped me to get those same customers that I already have rewarded for coming back and shopping with me week after week. Um, in the middle of your live, this is a brand new little side note, it's part of live sales, how to get new viewers. You will have people watching who do not comment, who do not share, who don't let you know they're watching. I have done this a few times, probably four or five times. I should be doing it more. Sometimes I will randomly say, hey, I have a lot of these rings available. If you are new and you have never won a free piece of jewelry from me, comment new right now. I'd love to bless you with a free piece of jewelry. I might get nobody to comment new. I think that did happen one time. It was towards the very end of my live and I already had people on there who had already shopped with me. But for the most part, um, I'll even say if you've never won a free piece from me, maybe you're not new, but you've been buying with me for months now, I would love to give you a chance to win a free piece. Like everybody should get a free piece of jewelry in life. So, um, while you're live, if there's somebody who's new and they see something, even if they're not crazy about it, if it's free, they're gonna be willing to try it. The only thing I would caution is that shipping can add up so, so, so fast. I lost a lot of money on shipping last year. I don't want you to you know, go negative when you're trying to grow your customer base. And you do have to invest in getting a bigger customer base. You're gonna have to shell out some free bling. You know, you paid 275 for this let them know they're gonna to have to pay $3 for shipping. You don't want this to cost you $6, you know, to give out a free piece. That's, you know, twice the value. You could give out two free pieces as long as those two people pay for shipping. So do, um, you know, ask for shipping. I would encourage that. All right, so you and ask them to, um, in the beginning of your live, you're gonna say, before you even post the live, invite a friend tonight, you'll both be entered for a free giveaway. While you're live and everybody's hitting share, everybody, three people, 13 people, doesn't matter how many, you are gonna repeat yourself. You're kind of a little bit of a broken record during live sales, I feel that way. You're gonna say, if you are you know, inviting a friend and she comes on tonight and both of you say hi to let me know you're here, you'll be entered for a free piece. 
halfway through the live, you see your numbers bump up from 13 to 19, you're gonna repeat yourself. Hey everybody, I just wanna remind you that tonight I'm doing a very special giveaway for new viewers. If you are on tonight and someone invited you here, you know, please say hi, let me know that your friend, you know, Marcy invited you onto this live. Um, both of you will be entered for a free piece. Repeat yourself. All right, group giveaway free piece. Okay, so this is actually, I think we're up to number 11. I forgot to write number two. In your shopping group, this is where you're gonna be scheduling those wall drops. You need people coming into there as well. You don't just need new viewers on a live sale. You need new customers that are in your customer base that are gonna be repeat customers, not a one time, you know, they claimed a piece and then they never came back again. So in your group, especially on the weekends when people tend to maybe be at home, you know, lounging on the couch, scrolling through Facebook, what's going on, you are gonna do a group giveaway. Um, it can be for a game that they play, like there's interactive um, engagement games that you can play, um, you know, where you go down the alphabet, you know, name a candy that starts with A, you know, let's see how many times we can get to Z, everybody who comments gets a free piece, or whatever the game might be. People like to talk about themselves, so try to do something that's kind of a personal question. But what you're gonna say, the winner is, I'm gonna pick three winners, I'm gonna pick one winner, I'm gonna pick five winners, whatever you wanna do. And you're gonna say, um, every winner is gonna get two pieces of jewelry, one for you to keep and one for you to give away and bless to someone else. It can be a stranger, a waitress at the next restaurant you go to, your favorite you know, grocery bag or lady. Um, your bank teller, your gym coach, you know, whoever, you're gonna give her my business card with the free piece. That's the only um, like stipulation to this giveaway is when you get two free pieces, I ask that you don't keep both, you gift one away. I have had new members join my group because somebody blessed them with a free piece of jewelry and the grotto girls who get to give away that free piece love it. They PM me the story like it felt so good to give away free jewelry. Now I know why you give away so much. It really does. It's like better to give than to receive. So um, you're gonna bless someone with a free piece for themselves, for a friend, and you're gonna give them their business card. I don't have one handy, but I typically put the free piece, I'll pick something kind of smaller, and you know, ring, earrings, bracelet, a daintier necklace with my business card and an organza drawstring baggie. This way it's easy and it's very pretty to present someone with that free piece. Okay. Um, New customers. Okay, so my upline, Brandy, does this. She says that if you are a brand new customer and you shop with me you know, during tonight's live, um, when she mails their package, she writes a note in there thanking them for shopping with them and that if they come back on next week's live at Wednesday at 8 p.m., they will get free shipping on their next order. For a new customer to get a piece of jewelry, they're gonna love it, but they might be like, I don't really need more jewelry, or you know, that was a fun little treat. They may not feel so pulled to come back and buy again. If they've got free shipping, now it's like, well, yeah, it's $5 jewelry, but I don't wanna pay three, four, five dollars shipping again. If it's free shipping, they're really probably gonna come back on that next live. I really don't like to give away free shipping anymore. I would change it if I were to do this and say, you know, thank you so much for joining my last live. If you can make it on my next live, you will get, you know, um, the first piece that you claim will be free. I think it's cheaper to give away a free piece because you're paying $2.75 a piece than giving away three, four, five dollars worth of free shipping. All right, and we get hostess rewards. Like you can say a free mystery piece and put in a free piece, then it costs you nothing. All right. Um, Share live. Okay, so after your live is over, do you know that people can shop the replay? So you, after you're done, I've been doing this lately. Every time my live is over, one of the first things I do, I share it again to my shopping group. Yes, my best friend already shared it there, but there will be new people who see my notification that didn't see hers, that they're just now on Facebook. Maybe as they're scrolling through their feed, now mine is bumped to the top again. So you can share it after the live. Even your customers, let them know a day later, you know, half of the stuff I showed is still up for sale. Um, feel free to shop the replay. After today, I'm pulling all the numbers out of cups. I won't know what's what anymore and I'm putting it away. So, you know, get those orders in before I invoice tonight, something like that. 
Okay, so these are gonna be totally out of order now. That was one, number two. So this now is gonna be number three way to get new customers, new eyes. Um, In-home parties. So you can either do it yourself where you're the hostess or you can do an in-home party in a hostess's home. Um, the first rule I always do with my in-home parties is if somebody comes, a guest comes, and they bring a friend, they each get a free piece. And what I have done in the past is I'll set up a little table by the door so that when they first walk in, I let them know this is the freebie table. You and your friend each get to pick a free piece just for showing up tonight. You can pick it on your way out or you can pick it now. They always pick it now because they don't want it to get picked over. Like They'll see a piece right away that calls to them and they want that piece. I'm going to tell you this too. In the past, I have put pieces that I over ordered of either on accident or I thought it would be super hot and it just wasn't. They go. I put hostess, mostly hostess rewards. They go. Some of the hostess rewards I can't put in there. They're so gorgeous I have to sell them. But sometimes it's pieces that, you know, I just, I don't know how to pair it with something else. It's a random color stone. It goes there. It gets cleaned. All right. Before you do your in-home party, either at your home or someone else's home, someone's up, um, you're going to buy, I think the paparazzi ones are the prettiest ones, but you're going to buy some yard sale signs that say $5 jewelry this way. You know, put up some signs around your neighborhood, not for the hostess because she may not want strangers in her home, but for your in-home boutique, if you have an in-home boutique, if you're doing a yard sale, driveway style, garage sale, um, hostess party, you can be your own hostess. Put those signs around. Some of my, you know, very best customers, shout out Gail, is right here in my neighborhood. Never knew about paparazzi until, you know, she found me and now every week she's coming over. She's helping me unpack joy. She's helping me make mermaid matches. She is one of my biggest VIP shoppers. So, um, your neighborhood, claim that territory, own your backyard. Um, when you're doing an in-home party, you can also promote it and market it, not just with local yard sale signs, but market it on Facebook. Go into your local buy, sell, trade groups based on your city and say, hey everybody, I'm having an in-home party today. I'm having a yard sale you know, with $5 jewelry. Feel free to swing by, PM me for my address if you don't feel like just putting it out there to everybody. All right, um, under the category of number, I guess, three, is your basket party, AKA your boutique in a box party. This should actually be a whole different category, but it's part of a hostess party. Instead of going in her home and making all her friends come to her house, if that's just not an option, give her a boutique in a box and let her know you can take this box with you to work, to a friend's house. You can have your one friend come over when she's able to, bring it to your kid's Boy Scout meeting, You know, bring it wherever. For every 10 pieces that sell, you get one free and you're already gonna get one free one just for doing it with me. Every hostess who has done a basket party for me, I tell them that if they do it a second time, they earn double hostess rewards. Believe it or not, like maybe the first time they sold 30 pieces, they got three free plus the one for doing it for me. They got four free pieces. When they knew they were earning double hostess rewards, like I don't know what it is. It's like the passion to sell comes over them and all of a sudden, like I had 105 pieces I think in one box maybe five were kids or something. I can't remember the total, but she sold 70 pieces. Like 70 times five is $350 in sales. So she sold 70, she got 14 free pieces plus two free just for being a hostess. 14, 15, six, 16 free pieces. I don't even know, it's close to like $100 in free jewelry. All right, so basket parties, hostess parties. Um, same kind of concept, somebody else Okay, when you do your boutique in a box, you have to really encourage your hostess to give out your business cards because all the people that she's um, selling to need to start joining your Facebook group, your shopping, um, your Facebook page, follow and like it, and join your group. Um, there should even be on your business card, join my live sale. Like I'm getting ready to redo my business cards so that when I hand it out to somebody, you know, join my live sale for free bling. I do free giveaways on every single live sale for sharing. Um, number three, vendor events. Okay, so there are, you know, so many local vendor events that you can join. Some are free, churches, schools, um, fall festivals, school events. You know, like my kid's school has fundraisers a couple times a year. I have been a vendor there for um, 
two events two times a year. My daughter's school, I did that like four times in one year. You will get new customers there and it's not about selling 500 pieces in a vendor event. Like if you did a vendor event and you're like, I will never do that again. That was so much work to set it all up. I only sold 20 pieces. You know, I could sell more than that on a live. Good. That's great. You can sell more than that on a live, but that's not the point. You probably got new people at that vendor event and it's not about the sale. It's about getting them to come back and be a repeat customer. I'm going to tell this story. I already shared it with my pod. Maybe I already shared it on a YouTube video, but it's worth sharing again. I drove an hour plus to a vendor event in Coral Springs called Shop for a Cause. We had to take two cards, two cars in order to fit all of my display boards. And I brought all my garment racks. I brought all my boards of jewelry. I brought every piece of jewelry that I owned, set up a big, huge, beautiful tent, and nobody showed. The person running the event did not advertise or market at all. It was a complete flop. There were about 20 other, 25 other vendors there all in their booths and everybody was ticked off, okay? Like we spent money and time to set up today and literally after two hours of them opening, nobody came. So I posted um, to one of my uplines, I think Jennifer Johnson is two above me, I might have even PM'd her like on the verge of tears, like we drove all the way down here, gas, time, two cars worth of gas, kids lugging them around and nobody's here. And she's like, go to every single vendor there and give them your card. So I walked around and I introduced myself to every single vendor there. I gave my card to every single one. Two of them were super, super sweet. I offered them to come over to my booth and pick out a free you know, pair of earrings or come get a free ring. She admired the ring I was wearing. Um, a couple of them had kids with them. I said, you should come over to my booth and check out my kids, you know, jewelry. Your kid can pick out a free piece. I did make some sales from vendors there. I had a couple vendors who joined my shopping group. One of them bought snap bracelets many times, maybe five or six times for, you know, herself or her team members in her team, not paparazzi, um, a totally different brand and product. And, um, she has shared my live. So your vendors at your events, take advantage of them. They are also potential customers and new eyes. Um, while I was off mingling with all those different vendors, one customer, I had a in my trunk a sign that said $5 jewelry this way. I don't even remember why it was still, I think I drove around my neighborhood from a different yard sale, pulled it out of the road, threw it in my trunk and forgot about it. So after two hours of sitting there with no traffic, I said to my husband, go get that sign out of my trunk and put it on the side of the road. So here comes one of my very VIP grotto girls driving around the you know road down there with her daughter in the car and she sees $5 jewelry this way. Never heard of me, never shopped with me, but she knew about paparazzi. She pulled in there. She walked, marched right to my booth I wasn't even there. I'm off mingling with the other vendors trying to get, you know, new eyes. And my husband was, you know, guarding Bling Security, my booth. And this customer came into our booth. She bought five pieces, like two blockbusters and three. She like knew exactly what she wanted. And my husband, thank you, Jesus, gave her my business card and said, you know, please join, you know, the Mermaid Grotto. Christine does live sales, album sales. Um, I don't think I did wall drops back then, but she joined my shopping group and every single week for a year and a half, she has shopped, she has shared, she has invited, she came to my in-home party at my mom's house with her mom and she shopped. Like she has bought me clothes and signs to hang up in the grotto. Like she is so dear and precious to me and she was the only customer that day. Your vendor events can get you new eyes. Um, even if it's a dead event and a flop, it paid for itself a hundredfold because of the one customer I gained from it besides the vendors. Okay, so um, do your vendor events. Um, invest in those who will love it. Okay, so this is like, I guess, step number five now. So this one is a little bit tricky. Um, I have had a couple family friends who I knew would love paparazzi, but they're not too you know, active on Facebook. Um, they weren't in my shopping group and I 
I had a gut intuition and I followed it. I mailed them free bling. Some of them I mailed a lot. Like at Christmas time, I sent one like 12 free pieces, each one wrapped up for different family members of this very dear friend of mine. It took nine months for that family friend to come on my live and immediately she bought two Z pieces. She went on to buy, I think, three or four more Z pieces almost every week since then maybe eight months ago now, she has shopped. She has invited her, one of her very good friends who is a huge VIP shopper as well. So having that initial investment and faith that somebody would love paparazzi, trust your instincts, it could come back tenfold, twentyfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold. You don't know the ripple effect. Um, this one, invest in those who will love it. I have to throw this out there because um, it's pretty incredible. I saw, and I don't want to say her name, but I saw a makeup blogger, kind of a mini celebrity, and she was going on about how she loves inexpensive makeup. And I knew she would love inexpensive jewelry. So I shipped her a free Z, a bunch of free kids jewelry for her daughters, free men's jewelry for her husband, and a whole lot of, you know, big variety of $5 jewelry for herself, hoop earrings, gun metal, rose gold, yellow gold, silver. I wanted her to see all of it, stretchy bracelets, snap bracelets, and I wrote little notes on each one that I wrapped up in tissue paper. You know, these are good everyday hoops. These are super blingy hoops. Um, can you believe all of this is only $5? Well, she had a quarter of a million fans and followers on Facebook. Like, if I just PM'd her, hey, you should join my shopping group. It doesn't work that way. I had to have faith and I sh sent her, I shipped her this package um, to her like fan mail PO box. And when she got it, she responded back to me like that's pretty overwhelming to get like over a hundred dollars in free jewelry. She fell in love. I started talking to her about the business. I'm like, listen, you have a huge following. Your fans love inexpensive, affordable makeup. They will love this jewelry. You should really consider joining paparazzi. So she's like, no, I can't invoice. I can't do all that shipping. You know, like it would be so overwhelming. Um, I love doing makeup. I'm like, but you don't have to actually ship it yourself and sell it yourself. You could just wear some blockbuster earrings like the ones I sent you, wear a Z and say to everybody, go to my website. They'll ship it directly to your customer. She's like, really? I'm like, yes. I was so excited for her. I knew she would just take off with this and she has. She became elite, like in definitely less than a year. Um, I think her team's over 500 members now. She exploded. I wish she was on my team, but it wasn't meant to be. After I explained to her how the company works, she said, I said, okay, so if you're ready to join, you know, go to mermaidchristine.com and click join my team. You'll get a $99 starter kit. You can keep it, give it away, um, sell it if you wanted to, but just push your website. She's like, oh, well, I actually know somebody else who sells paparazzi. I'm gonna join under her. Womp womp. Like, I tried. The point, though, of sharing this story is because when you want new viewers and new eyes, you need to think really big. Yes, you can find ordinary people like me who will fall in love with the product and they could become, you know, a consultant and grow a team and do very well, too. But if you know or see, uh, I call them mini celebrities, like a huge celebrity, don't go after Celine Dion. But if you know of somebody who has a big following, you need to try to recruit them. Even if they personally don't buy a ton of it, their following could buy a ton either from you or if they join, you as their sponsor would make bank. I mean, so much. All right, so that is you know a really good one to share. All right, so number five, bless strangers, um, be the one, hashtag be the one. So paparazzi did this whole movement. I loved it, I did it every single day of the month and I got new viewers, I got new customers from this. Um, not just strangers giving out free jewelry, gifts, all occasions. Teacher Appreciation Week, Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, Easter, 
Halloween, when I went trick-or-treating with my kids, I had a jack-o'-lantern full of, I ordered on accident, I think I wanted 40 pairs of Halloween earrings times two, so I get two in a pack, I wanted 80 pairs. I have 500 members, I figured eh, one-fifth of them might want a pair of Halloween kids' earrings. I ordered 40 packs. You get actually 10 earrings per pack, that's 400 Halloween earrings I got. I did not need that many. So I had, I don't know, a hundred or so extra, maybe even more. I still have half a jack-o'-lantern full. And when I went trick-or-treating with my kids, I was giving out, you know, little girls who I could tell had pierced ears or their moms a free pair of Halloween earrings with my business card. So bless strangers, give it out as gifts for holidays. Be the one. All right. Um, advertise on, okay, so I told you about advertising on Facebook. Don't forget there are other platforms, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, um, uh, Snapchat. There's something called TikTok. My kids know about it apparently. Um, they wanna get a TikTok app or, I don't know, I haven't looked into it yet. Maybe that's a place to advertise. Somebody else just asked me about Pinterest. I think you can post on Pinterest, I'm not sure. I never went down that rabbit hole. I'm scared I wouldn't come out, so, um, Look into that. Ask uh, compliance at paparazziaccessories.com if you're unsure. Um, next one, number eight. In your shopping group, do a giveaway game. Add a friend to the group. Okay, so this is a totally different one. So there could be one giveaway, one weekend, where you say, um, I'm going to bless you and someone in your life a free piece. I'm gonna give you two free pieces with your business card. The other type of giveaway you can do is add someone to the group. I do this one all the time. I always get a few new members added. Now what's really neat is with the new Facebook settings is let's say um, my friend Courtney adds three people to my shopping group. Those three people aren't just automatically in it the way it used to be. They have to accept her invitation to join and towards the end of the week, sometimes I forget, it's like the end of the month, on a computer, not on my phone, it shows me welcome new members to your group. And it'll show me, oh, I had eight new members join this week. And it tags their name in that post. I can welcome them to the grotto then and kind of do a little explanation of how the group works. So um, do a giveaway in your group. Um, post a GIF of you know how you plan to spend your Saturday afternoon. And, you know, um, tag a friend to get an extra entry for free blank, something like that. So um, that was number eight. Number nine, wear and carry um, what you have in stock. Okay, so I'm not wearing a ring right now as an example, but today's jewelry that I picked out, all of these pieces, including this uh, open cuff bracelet, which can totally go on the top of a, a ponytail, I have all of this in stock. I over ordered these earrings big time. I think I ordered like 10 or 12 pairs and I maybe sold six or seven of them. I think I have four left. I'm gonna go live at some point today. I want girls who are seeing me live saying, ooh, the stock image didn't really do it justice. I think I need those. Um, I had to keep this. I put it on on a live and I don't own a lot of black jewelry. I still have one in stock. I'm gonna be wearing what I have. Stack your bracelets. It makes a totally different look. I overordered these on purpose. It goes with everything, with gunmetal jewelry, with black jewelry, with you know silver jewelry. Um, wear what you have in stock. So right now, if I were to go run an errand, I would have these, or this bracelet, these earrings, this necklace, this bracelet, and both of these bracelets in my bling bag. And I'm gonna do a whole other video on how to sell from your bling bag. All right, so wear and carry what you have in stock. If everything you're wearing and someone compliments it is not in stock, you are maybe preventing yourself from sales. And going out in public, you have to be wearing your jewelry. You have to represent and be the product. All right, number 10, new member giveaway. I have done this a few times. I've told sisters to do this when they were just growing their business. Um, you can do a new members only giveaway. I've done this a few times. I promote it in different groups. Hey everybody, I'm doing a new member giveaway. If you join my group, I have an album with 40 pieces that I'm gonna be giving away to 10 new members who join my group this week. Um, all you have to do is comment mine under it. 
at the end of the week, I open that album up to all of my shoppers in my shopping group. Um, it's a fun way to get new members to join your group fast. Another way that I did that wasn't even intentionally trying to be a new member giveaway was I went into a buy sell trade group that was for all different types of products. And um, it was around Christmas time and people were like, I, you know, want to bless people. I'm feeling, you know, very um, blessed right now. I, you know, I was able to get all my kids Christmas presents and I want to gift five people you know, whatever, some type of turvis or uh, leggings that, you know, were from Halloween that I don't want to hold on to. Whatever it was, people on this thread were giving away free. They were like paying it forward. All you had to do was cover shipping. So I had what I considered ugly pieces. I'm sad to even say that because what's one man, what's one mermaid's Ugly is another mermaid's beauty. So I had pieces that I was just like, why does paparazzi keep sending me these as hostess rewards? Like I would never order these. So I made a post in this buy, sell, trade group saying, you know, here's a selection of some freebies that I would like to pay it for and give it away to. All you have to do is comment mine if you want this piece and please pay the $3 shipping. Um, I had you know three of one piece, five of a different piece, whatever it was. I think over 30 people joined my group that day and most of them never shopped with me again. Yes, they were there just for the freebie. Facebook probably kicked them out, but a few of them did become new repeat customers. They loved that free ugly piece and um, it was beautiful to them. So if you're sitting on inventory that you know it's hard for you to sell because you're not passionate about it when you're showing it, use it as a giveaway, bless others with it. Um, that one worked out really well. All right, so then the last one, number 10, borrow someone else's page. I can't right now read the wording, but Maria found another um, consultant, not even for paparazzi, for another company, doing this type of verbiage giveaway. You put it on your personal profile that says something to this effect. Um, hey, everybody, I, um, uh, how did it go? Something like, Hi everybody. I, as you know, I sell $5 jewelry. Um, I'm wondering if I can borrow your page to share a little bit more about my business. Um, you may not be interested, but somebody that you know might be looking to earn extra income or really want some affordable, trendy jewelry. Um, if you would let me borrow your page and post on your page, um, you'll be entered for free bling and I'll pick the winners tonight. Um, if you agree, comment yes. So Maria had like over 30 people comment, yes, yes, of course, you can post on my page. Yes, 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 yes. I'm like, this is brilliant. She shared it to the pod. We, you know, a bunch of us are trying it. I got four or five people to say yes. Other people have had eight or 10 people say yes in an hour. Like, it just depends how, you know, your friends and family prefer to support you. You might get really lucky with that, but that is another way to get new eyes. The, you know, five different people who I posted on their page, um, the way I did it was once I went to their page, I put a collage of pieces that I had in stock. I tagged the person thanking them so that somebody else doesn't think I'm just spamming someone's page. Thank you so much, Allison, for letting me post on your page. You are amazing. Um, in case you don't know, I am Mermaid Christine. I sell paparazzi accessories. You know, you can see all the beautiful $5 jewelry in my shopping group at symbol, the Mermaid Grotto. It creates a direct link to my shopping group. If you are interested in, you know, making extra money selling $5 jewelry, and I just did bullet points, you can make 45% commission, you get a free website, there's no quotas, no catalogs, you set your own hours. Um, to learn more about this you know, opportunity to work from home and launch your own $5 business, go to mermaidchristine.com, plugged in my website and click join my team. So I posted that on different people's personal profiles. That whole message you can copy and paste and just advertise in different job opportunity, direct sale groups, et cetera, on Facebook. And you never know, you might get not only a new I, a new team member as well. Whew, that was a lot to go over. So Bray, Shanette, I hope that um, you try these 10 now different ways to get new eyes, get new views, get new customers. Some of these, like I said, they take more time. You're gonna have to 
be consistent, be persistent, don't give up. Um, I have some sisters who have tried advertising into different buy sell trade groups and they say, I got no results, I'm not doing it anymore. I get no results too. Probably 80, 90% of the time. Lately, it feels like 95. I feel like Facebook is working harder and harder to hide those advertising posts. But sometimes I get that random someone from Alaska who already loves paparazzi and is so glad she came across my post because my collage had a pair of earrings that she has been looking for. And now she's just, you know, a very good VIP shopper. So try these things. I hope that you, uh, get lots of great sales and that they help you. Shell yeah. And um, if you try these things and they help, please leave it in the comments. Um, as always, I really appreciate it when you give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you do so so that you get a notification as I post more tutorials. I'm gonna try my very hardest. I have, I have so many ideas already written down to get all of them done this summer. If you have a question or an idea that you would like my opinion on or my advice, um, I'll research it. If I don't know, put it in the comments. I'm happy to look into it for you. All right, everybody have a great day and I wish you all the success as always. I send you mermaid kisses and starfish wishes. Bye.